strangely enough, I ended up, I went to Rob's birthday party recently, oh. and then Kristen crashed it too. Bella and Edward reuniting alongside Twilight director Catherine Hardwick. It's been a long time. I know, I think it's amazing. Catherine spilled the details on the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast, saying that real life exes Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson saw each other back in May when Kristen crashed Rob's birthday bash. I went to Rob's birthday party recently. Aww. I kind of crashed with my friend Tony Collette, I had just done a movie with him. And so Rob was like, yeah, bring Kath. So we had a fun thing. And then Kristen crashed it too when uh, Kristen walked into Rob's to that Rob's birthday, she's like, Catherine, Rob's birthday, uh, what's going on? I go, I kind of crashed it with Tony. And then she goes, well, I crashed it too. The filmmaker then sharing how Kristen snagged an invite. And then she goes, ring the bell at the gate. Is it cool if I come? Oh. He says, of course, you know, he's such a lovely person. Oops. That was just a few months ago. It was just like, oh my God. Did you all Everybody, reminisce? What did we you all <laughs> hugged each other. It's like, this is so crazy and cool. Hello. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to introduce myself last week. Um, I'm Edward Cullen. You're Bella. Um, yes. Kristen and Robert starred in five Twilight movies together, spanning from 2008 to 2012, with Catherine directing the duo in the franchise's first film. I mean, Rob is a very modest person right. and very humble person and self-deprecating in a way. So he was nervous about, you know, am I living up to the book? You know, am I gorgeous enough for the book? You're beautiful. Beautiful. This is the skin of a killer, Bill. I keep wanting to ask people, and they're like, I love you. It's like, why? Like, what? What? What about me? <laughs> just like, it's completely nuts. It's funny because people just see people just see the uh, the character, and I walk into a room, and they just think I'm the, the character. It's a very strange experience. It's like an out of body experience. And Kristen's audition, Catherine says she knew there was nobody better to embody Bella. I thought Kristen was going to be perfect for this. I kind of auditioned with her and we played around, did a whole bunch of different scenes, ran out in the park, chased pigeons, you know, just crazy stuff. And I thought, yep, yeah, she's perfect. Who's he? That's Edward Cullen. He's totally gorgeous, obviously. But apparently nobody here is good enough for him. He came in like with, with everything. He wasn't playing like the perfect guy, which would be so unrelatable and empty. He really came in with like pain and fear and he was really perfect. I know what you are. Say it. Out loud. Vampire. Did you feel that chemistry from the first day? Did you know that he was your vampire? Yes. No, there was really no other, there was really no other choice. Everybody else sort of was just like, oh, I'm, I'm very statuesque and perfect looking. And it was like, no, 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 Edward is not perfect. That's what you don't get. As for if Catherine's up to directing the pair on the screen again? Yeah, I mean, that would be so fun. Have I ever had the exact perfect project right. for them? Maybe not, or maybe they were too busy or, right. but you know, but I got my fingers crossed.